All right, another episode of Metrics Monday. Going to be talking about the three uh, on the hitting side of things. We've been hitting on a couple times, a couple different ways in my vlog. Going to go in more depth to how these metrics connect to each other. The three that we're talking about today, early connection, attack angle, and then we're going to talk about point of contact. That's going to go in as far as the, the, from a vlog standpoint. But early connection, again, the angle that the barrel has relative to my spine when I get into my launch position. We want to be within a window of plus or minus 10 to 15 degrees. So this would be greater than 90 degrees. This would be less than 90 degrees. We can see as we go in either direction, this likely is going to influence our attack angle as we go to make contact with the ball. And it's also obviously gonna influence our uh, point of contact. So one of the common things that we see in the facility is actually high early connection. Uh, and again, in the vlog, I'll go into more depth as to why we see that. One of the things you commonly hear as a player is you're dropping your barrel that you're dumping your barrel or dropping the head of the barrel, that can be true, but validate with tech to make sure that it's not a coach's opinion telling you, here's why you're having a hard time hitting. We're gonna use our blast motion sensor, give us an idea of what your early connection is as you're hitting, and then make sure that you're doing this in a live setting. Doing swings off of a tee and getting metrics uh, can be helpful sometimes, but we wanna make sure that any uh, deficiencies we assess are in a live setting, whether it's off a machine or off a live pitcher. So keep an eye out for the vlog, I'm gonna go in more depth how these metrics interact with each other. And then again, Kinetic Sunday, gonna give you some drills to help address it.